Hello, and welcome to Sears Bakers. Today we're going to make brownies with ganache. So, let's get into it. First off, to make this brownies, we're going to put our chocolate and instant coffee with our butter. We're going to let this melt with a bain-marie, which is just boiling water in a pot, or if you have a bain-marie itself. Once this all melts together, we'll take it off the heat and start mixing in our sugar, eggs, and vanilla. And once all of those liquids are mixed together, we'll finally add in our flour. While this slowly melts, start weighing out your dry ingredients and the rest of your ingredients. So you can mix the eggs, the brown sugar, and the vanilla together, and then mix the cocoa powder, salt, and flour together. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Let's get our sugar, vanilla, and our eggs. For the flour, cocoa powder, and salt, sift it into your bowl and just leave it off to the side. If you're making one recipe, just, it's gonna be about six eggs. If you're making more, you're gonna to wanna to weigh exactly the right amount of eggs. If you're above or below by a few grams, like five or six grams, it's okay. But if you go way over or way below, you're gonna have some problems. And we're just gonna mix that up. So once you've measured everything out, things will start to be heating up. You can just mix your ingredients together until it forms a nice melted chocolate. Once it's fully melted, take it off the heat and you can mix in your eggs. We're gonna mix in our egg mixture next. Because this is one recipe, you can just pour this in and you don't have to worry about the heat. But if you're making multiple recipes of this, you're gonna have to be careful because if this chocolate's too hot, your eggs might cook. But with such a small recipe, it won't matter. This egg mixture should cool it down fully. Just pour it all in. And mix it up. Give it a mix before you scrape down because you wanna make sure that it doesn't scramble your eggs. Then just scrape it down, mix this up, and you have your liquid. Next, we're gonna add in our flour a third at a time. If you're gonna use the machine, Use the bowl for the machine for melting your chocolate and then you can just put this on the machine as you mix in these other ingredients. Once you're close to fully mixed, add your next third. And then your last third. This is the stage where you'd add in your extra chocolate chips if you prefer having them. I prefer not having them because I like to have a nice soft texture with no crunchy bits for this specific brownie. Make sure you don't over mix, but make sure that all these flower pockets are gone so that you don't get any big flower chunks when eating. No one wants to eat giant flower chunks. Easy way to get rid of any flower chunks if you find them, say like right here, just do a little stir. That way that only that area gets mixed a lot rather than mixing the whole thing all together. And there we are. Let's just pour it into our pan and get it in the oven.
Now, depending on how you like your brownie, if you like it to be more like a cake or more like fudge, will determine how much you let it cook. My recipe will get you in the in-between, so tweak it to how you like it. If you like it a bit more fudgy, go back a minute or so. If you like it more cakey, cook it an extra minute or so. Other than that, let's just get this in the oven. It's now just come out of the oven. We're gonna let it cool down. There's two ways to make this ganache. You can either just make it right now and while this is still hot, pour the hot ganache over top if you want a thin layer of dark ganache. However, what I prefer to do is to whip it up so it gets a nice light texture and light color, which contrasts the color of the brownie. But to do it that way, you need to let this fully cool down before doing it. So we're gonna let this fully cool down and then come back and make our ganache afterwards. Now for the ganache, our brownie is cooled down. We have butter, vanilla, corn syrup, and chocolate in here. We're gonna start to let this melt. Once it's fully melted, we'll add in our cream. And then once we take it off the heat, we will add our rum. So let's just heat this up. Give this a stir as it melts. We'll add in our cream once it's fully melted. Once the chocolate's melted like this, you can add in your cream and just mix that in. There we are, it's all melted in. So we'll take it off the heat and put in our rum. That's it in our rum, oh, careful. If you add in the rum right at the beginning, you're gonna cook out all the flavor and you might as well just not put rum in it. You don't have to put rum in it. The rum doesn't do anything except for flavor. So if you prefer to have it non-alcoholic, you can take it out. And there's also some nice uh, rum extract that you can use as well if you wanna keep it non-alcoholic but you want the rum taste. So let's put this in. and just mix it up. Then you're just gonna mix this up until it gets thicker and lighter in color. Once it's a lighter color than the brownie itself, that's when you know you're done. Now that we have our light ganache all mixed up, if you want to make this step quicker, you can put it in the fridge for a little bit, but you gotta be very careful if you're cooling it down because if you let it fully cool down, it won't work and it will split. So, first we're gonna trim our brownie. Let's just bring this closer to me so it's easier. Also, for your ganache, if you do let it uh, solidify too much, you can redo it by just reheating it. It'll go back to the liquid and you'll have to start again whipping it till it gets to this stage. So if you do mess it up by like freezing it essentially, don't worry, you can just heat it back up, it'll become a liquid and then you can just whip it back into shape. Again, with these side bits, just like any other thing that we trim, we want to use this for taste testing and to make sure that your customers or employees are happy. So you can give these to your employees if you think your employees need to be happy, or you can give it out as little taste testers for the children or I guess for your customers Either way. So, now this is all trimmed up, we're going to put on our ganache. Now this step is up to you. You can shave the top if you want, but it's not really needed. So, 
with your... Make sure it's not hot. Yep, we're good. With our ganache, we're gonna just pour it all on. Just like so. Then we're gonna spread it out. Get a nice even layer across the whole top. Once we have it nice and smooth on top, we're gonna let it set in the fridge just for a second so that it solidifies a bit more and then we're gonna make our design into it. Once you've let it cool down, just go back and forth, back and forth. And there you go. You have a nice simple design. All that's left to do is cut. Now I like to cut it into 16 pieces for this size. But it's all up to you obviously. If you prefer more or less, make sure you have some paper towel so you can clean off your knife between cuts. The reason why I like it about this size is It's a good size for having just a small little treat with your coffee or something like that. And it's a decent size to get as a dozen. However, if uh, I'm looking on making bigger pieces for if you want to get an individual one, I'd probably cut it into nine pieces. But, that's all up to the customer. And there you are. Brownies are done. All that's left is to taste test. And we'll come back then. So, let's give this a taste. Very delicious. This is a lot more cakey compared to most brownies. If you prefer it to be a bit more fudgy, just bake it for a bit less time. There's just a subtle hint of rum, which is amazing. Again, if you don't like the rum taste, don't put it in. The uh, ganache recipe will work perfectly fine without it. Also, if you want to make it alcohol free, but you still like the rum taste, you can use the uh, rum extract. And always just taste test as you go, because I might like this amount of rum, but you might like less or you might like more. So it's always good to taste around. It's a nice smooth ganache on top. Balances each other very well. So, if you've liked this video, please like and subscribe. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. I even have my own website. Thank you, and have a nice day.